Welcome back everyone, Komakala here, Grand Theft Auto 5, and the next mission that we're going to do is all the way down here. Now, whoops, I did get a text message, no, from Lamar, hey crazy man, meet me at my crib, me and Frank gonna roll on that last car for the rich dude, you in? And here's Michael's car. Trevor stole it. All right, weaving in and out of traffic. I know I'm gonna have an accident soon. It's just bound to happen. Oh, don't. Did I miss my turn? No, I didn't. I knocked their wheel off. Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. There we go, here's his car. I love this car after I completely modded it.
gangsters move. He waiting at the garage. What kind of car is this? I can't read that. It's the too boost, small. Homie. How'd it go? <clears throat> Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Be careful. Line it up on the truck. The final piece of the puzzle. There she is, homie. We straight. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. Dang what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling me? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? About four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie. For a dude that kills dudes, and eats dudes, and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid, or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or, where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck! Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit! Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! <laughs> and enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place that I out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. 
Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending <laughs> for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol in this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired of hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you've got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about it. Uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real safe. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JV700 and get rid of the tail. Shit, there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Keep it as steady as I can. Careful, Franklin. Trying, trying to keep it steady. right to us, dog. Maybe you should have done a boost, Mr. CEO. Now get on the shit. Man, we need to shake these rollers, nigga. Give us some room. Come on, boss. Get them off us. Hi. 
It's Frank. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost car and pop motherfucker. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Well, that was fun. All these, I take too long with the actual mission. I wonder if, it, if uh, in order to beat, to get the like the mission time or whatever, you have to um, skip cutscenes. I don't know. I have no idea. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see, his phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? All right. That'll be it for this part. Next part, I will jump down to Franklin's aunt's house. And I'll join you guys as I'm pulling into the street. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Tune to the next part. I'll see you then.